all television and radio stations in the United States will now cease their regular programming. As we already established in the Daniel 11 hypothesis, there are three different kings of the south beginning with the United Kingdom and by extension the British Commonwealth in the First World War, Germany in the Second World War, and from 1945 to the woe of the fifth trumpet, the United States. So first Ephraim, then Judah, then Manasseh, and at the woe of the fifth trumpet, all three form the lion of Daniel chapter 7 in Revelation 13. The king of the north was first Tsarist Russia and at the end of the First World War they became the Soviet Union, the second king of the north, which then became the Russian Federation, the third king of the north. But at the woe of the fifth trumpet, Russia, along with the nations listed in Ezekiel 38, will form the bear of Daniel chapter 7 in Revelation 13, the fourth and final king of the north in the global political system that doesn't emerge until Satan and his angels, Daniel's fourth beast, the supernatural, are cast to earth, which is also in the he-goat that you can read of in Daniel chapter 8, which symbolizes the Kenites and their four hidden dynasties, becomes the leopard of Daniel chapter 7 in Revelation 13. So with that in mind, let's go to Daniel chapter 11, verses 13 and 14, and see if these verses match what we see going on in the world today. In the Daniel 11 hypothesis, you'll find in PDF form at biblicalresearchlabs.com. For the king of the north shall return the Russian Federation, that is to say, we're on verse 13 of Daniel chapter 11 and shall set forth a multitude greater than the former. Look into the history between Syria and the Soviet Union if you want to delve further into this and shall certainly come after certain years with a great army and with much riches. Not only did the Russian military enter into Syria in 2015 on September 30th, but since that time they formed a trilateral mechanism with Iran and Turkey, building toward the Confederacy written of in Ezekiel 38. Persia is is Iran and Turkey is most likely Gomer, but the invasion written of in Ezekiel 38 and 39 won't happen until the end of the hour of temptation. And that's when those hailstones from God come raining down upon them. And you can also read of that in the seventh vial, which is when the true Christ returns, which lets you know beyond any shadow of a doubt the time frame of that event. And in those times, these times we are now in, in my opinion, shall many stand up against the King of the South, the United States, at at this time being hated more than ever, with most of the United Nations standing against the decision of the United States to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Kenite-occupied Israel, the UN being the great horn of the he-goat in Daniel chapter 8, verse 8, in my opinion, as well as the one who sends a razor of taxes in Daniel chapter 11, verse 20, the global carbon tax of the Paris Climate Agreement being accomplished through the United Nations, but the United States pulled out of the Paris Agreement as well as UNESCO and the Human Rights Council here more recently, so the breaking of the Great Horn of the He-Goat, which in my opinion is the UN, may very well be underway. This same exact strategy you'll find mapped out on the last page of the Grand Chessboard by Zbigniew Brzezinski, the strategy to create a new world order upon the skeletal structure laid out by the UN, not only perpetuating America's own dominant position, but at the same time creating a geopolitical framework with key Eurasian partners can also help to foster the preconditions for an eventual upgrading of the existing and increasingly antiquated UN structures. Not an upgrading of the United Nations, but of the existing UN structures, the skeletal structure. Just as the United Nations was built upon the skeletal framework laid out by the League of Nations, the New World Order will replace the UN. And last year, while seated in the White House, Henry Kissinger said he was there at at a moment when the opportunity to build a constructive and peaceful world order, a new world order that is to say, is very great and just two days later the United States announced they were pulling out of UNESCO. In my opinion that has to do with the breaking of the great horn of the he-goat, not the deadly wound to the new world order because there is no new world order. Daniel chapter 8 verse 8 says, therefore the he-goat waxed very great and when he was strong the great horn was broken and for it came 
came up four notable ones toward the four winds of heaven, which always means the five-month-long hour of temptation, and these four notable ones are the four beasts of Daniel chapter 7. That's when Revelation 13 begins whenever Satan and his angels are cast to earth because they're Daniel's fourth beast, then and only then can the deadly wound to the global political system, the New World Order, occur. Then after the deadly wound, Satan appears as Antichrist at the woe of the sixth trumpet, and then it becomes a one-world religious system. At the woe of the seventh trumpet, the true Christ returns. So returning to Daniel chapter 11, verse 14, and in those times, these times, in my opinion, there shall many stand up against the king of the south, also the robbers of thy people, speaking of Daniel's people, who would go on to form the Christian nations of today, Ephraim, Judah, and Manasseh, the robbers of thy people are obviously the Kenites, the banksters as they're called, the shadow government of the world, the he-goat of Daniel chapter 8, with the United Nations being the great horn of the he-goat. The robbers of thy people shall exalt themselves to establish the vision, but they shall fall. And not only did Kenite-occupied Israel recently pass the so-called nation-state law, which you can read in full on mark13news.com in the post for July 20th, but as you can see in the Companion Bible, establish the vision means, in Bullinger's opinion, to help fulfill prophecy by taking the side of Syria. And this article, published July 21st, says Kenite-occupied Israel may recognize Assad's control over southern Syria in bid to repel Iran. In that article, you'll find on Sputnik.com, out of Russia, the current king of the north. So whether that will happen or not, time will tell. And whether or not this lines up with Daniel chapter 11, verse 14, I'll leave you to decide for yourself. But whatever you do, never forget what Christ told us all to do in the last verse of Mark chapter 13. Watch. Watch.